1500 Sound Academy is the premier facility for any creative medium. If your music mix includes Beyonce, Jay-Z, Drake, Justin Timberlake, and Snoop, then you've heard the genius of my next two guests, James Fauntleroy and Lawrence Rance Dobson. Welcome, guys. Nice to have you with us. Hey, thanks for having us. You know, I was going to do a, like an intro like, James Fauntleroy and Rance Dobson of Bridgerton. That <laughs> yeah. sounds, you guys, your names sound very royal, very regal. Yes, we were ready, we were prepared for all the incoming monies, so. <laughs> that is fantastic. Well, listen, this is great to talk to you because I, you are doing something that I think is one of the most innovative ideas. You know, others have tried to give back to their communities in uh, interesting ways. But 1500 Sound Academy is one of the coolest things ever, especially if you're a musician like I am. I wish I'd had this when I was a kid trying to become a music superstar, right? So, so James, tell me a little bit about how that all got started. Well, literally the exact same uh, sentiment. Like when we started off, um, before we started, everyone sees music business movies and The Temptations and Walk Hard, my favorite music business movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they all have these, um, you know, archetypal uh, cliches of, of the music business horrible and people do this and that and third. And although we obviously love music, when we get when we actually entered the professional business, we found that it was actually worse than advertised, <laughs> that it was even crazier yeah. than it seems in the movies. And so, you know, we were constantly talking about like, why is it like this? You know, I've, I've even talked to some of the, both of us, we've talked to people that were doing bad things to us and said, you know, why? And so the, the idea we came out with or, or the, the sentiment was, that this is just how it's done, you know what I mean? It's just, it's it's, got, it's a fraternity style like hazing. And so we just always talked about when we get the opportunity to have our own business and have our own thing, we are gonna break that cycle. And so over time that evolved into us um, starting our school. So this is a school and it's, you know, headed by two Grammy award winner. So you guys have, have accomplished what you wanted to accomplish. You've got a lot more to do, obviously, in the music business. But but uh, so so uh, Rance, tell me a little bit about what happens when somebody says, I want to be in the music business. I'm going to check out 1500 Sound Academy. What do they do? What's that like? Well, we go through a process. We got a six month program. Uh, where we really vet vet out who these students are, and uh, we just pick the people that we just want to get everybody to their their highest self, and and teach people how to. I, I like to use this word. Uh, we teach them how to be unemployable, which means we want to get them to a point to where uh, the only thing you'll be able to do is license their thoughts. Uh, you know, and um, for you to get to that, you got to know all the rules to break the rules, and that's what our school is teaching you. All the rules to break the rules for music business, to songwriting, to human behavior, to emotional intelligence. You know, it's it's literally also a school of life skills too. So, yeah, so uh, let, me get this straight, let me get this straight. So this is, oh, this is not a side hustle. See, that's the thing about musicians. We all act like music is our side hustle and not our passion. And, and uh, you know, I think that's what you're saying is that it's muscle memory. You got to really commit. You got to be the person who really wants to be that thing that you dream right. Absolutely. Also, um, we we have a website, yeah. 1500 soundacademy uh, Instagram, 1500 Sound Academy, and you know we we have a couple different ways through our social media that we we have people that are able to sign up for our program, and we just recently launched an online curriculum as well. So you can find all that on the website. So what does it cost uh, someone to get involved? It varies, you know, and, and, and we're working on it, but really the, the goal when we started was to make it affordable in general. So not only do we have different price points, so, you know, you might have something, um, it, it could be from hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars, depending on, on what you choose, but also we're really heavily focused on um, filling up the entire school with scholarships. So we're working with different partners like Fender and Roland, for instance, who have provided scholarships. Um, other companies, some just, you know, um, generous individuals, but the real goal first was to price it at a place where people could have access to it. 
but then second, like we're really raising money and doing as much as we can to make it essentially free to whoever we um, we we can we can find that's interested in the program. So uh, let's talk about the guest lectures because you know the who's who in music. I mean, you don't get any bigger than Beyonce and Jay Z and Justin Timberlake and Drake. I mean, I could just keep going. Alicia Keys. These are some of the top people in the industry. Tell me who's teaching these students and, and what are they really getting? A big part of, of the, the core of what we're teaching is that we want to give real world experience from people that are like actively in the business. So we've had celebrities like we had um, Kendrick Lamar came by and taught a class. Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace, taught a class. Uh, Puff Daddy, Love, Diddy came, all three of those, those same people came and um, talked to the students. I invited Bruno to the school one time just to show him around and he kicked the door in and, <laughs> and taught a, a whole like 20 minutes of, of priceless information. So wow. we've had celebrities, but also we really are focused on um, teaching our students all the different ways you can have success because it's not only the only job is not being an artist so we've had uh ceos of labels a and r's people from software companies gear companies like as many professionals as we can pull together to give the students the tools we think they'll need to um, have success yeah i saw the i saw the uh, nipsey hustle uh, clip that you put on instagram and it's interesting as you said rest in peace nipsey and and and, and the truth is that there's a lot going on there besides just making music. You're, you're learning to live and work in an environment that's very professional and not just music, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really building a community of people that cares about the same thing. And when you build that community, those are the next superstars. Those are the next producers and songwriters that's, that's next. So we're, we're just, <clears throat> we're building a platform to where, you know, we're building a community of high level people that's gonna shift culture musically. James, you have something to say about that? Yeah, no, that's exactly right. That's that's the goal. The goal is for instead of, of the what we came into, we want to build people up and, and send out a different individual into the into the industry. You know what I mean? And hope that we really can change the um, the stigma and the experience, and therefore, you know, invite more creativity and more perspectives, and just you know, give an access and an opportunity to be great. Well, congratulations to you both. This is a fabulous idea. I wish you Thank much you. success. And Thank I can't you. wait to hear more music that comes out of all uh, the students that we that we get in, in the 1500 Academy, Sound Academy. Thank you so much for being with us. And I wish you the very best. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you a lot. God bless. All right. Man.